Hello friends, I uh, just want to take a minute here and make a quick video, Ex try to explain uh, what is temperament and is it biblical? Uh, what's the importance of it? What does it mean to you? Um, in short, temperament is defined as the inborn part of man that determines how we react to people, places, or things. Um, it also is paramount in how we handle, react to the stresses and pressures of life. Um, Temperament can also be defined as God's spiritual genetics upon each person, like a thumbprint. Um, we understand that we can see throughout the scriptures that, you know, in the beginning of creation in Genesis, uh, God said, let's make man in uh, our image and our likeness. God created man in his image, his likeness, um, a spirit being that uh, God created Adam or mankind out of the dust of the earth. He breathed the breath of life into him. And it says that man became a living soul. So we see the template here, a uh, triune being, so to speak, of mankind, spirit, soul, and body. In the beginning of creation, that's the template that God made. Just like God, a theological word, the Trinity, um, known as Father, Spirit, and Son, Father God, uh, Elohim. You have Jesus Christ, the Son, and obviously the Holy Spirit, the third part of the Trinity. So we can see how... God made us like him, the area of likeness and image characteristics, but he's also made us of a three-part being that we have a spirit, soul, and a body. Uh, temperament would be the area of the soul, known up as the mind, will, and emotion side of man. Uh, regarding temperament, um, this is the areas of inclusion, control, and affection. Inclusion is social orientation, how well I like to socialize, introvert, extrovert, um, control is willingness to make decisions, responsibility, um, things like that. And the affection side is the emotional side of us, how much, you know, how emotional we are, whether we're really touchy-feely or not so much. So that's temperament. Um, at the National Christian Council Association, those members of uh, us who are members of the NCCA, we believe that uh, the foundational scripture of temperament, we can see it in Psalm 139. I'll go ahead and read it. It talks about God's imprint kind of on our life, so to speak. Um, at the moment of conception, when you were conceived in your mother's womb, at the, that moment, God breathed in uh, what is known as temperament. He placed it inside of you, rather. Um, it takes, you know, three, three, to, uh, three to conceive a child, mother, father, and God Almighty himself. And so at the moment of conception, temperament was birthed within you. Um, unique like none other. There is no one else like you, just like no two fingerprints are the same. There's no one else like you out there, no other temperament like yours. You've been given gifts and certain, you know, willpower and strengths and all these things that God has placed within you that you might not even know you have. They have to be unlocked, but God knows. And uh, that's the kind of the good thing in knowing about our temperament. It can help us be comfortable in our own skin, so to speak. I don't have to worry about being like someone else. I don't have to put on a mask of personality because I know who I am. I know who God's created me to be, and uh, I want that for you as well. So I'm going to read Psalm 139, verses 13 through 16. This was uh, King David. It goes to say that he said, talking about God, For you created my inmost being, that you knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. So that's talking about the womb, uh, metaphor, secret place, dark depths of the earth. That's the, the belly, the womb of a, of a woman. Uh, verse 16 says, your eyes, his eyes saw our unformed bodies in all the days for us are written in his book before one of them even came to be so you know that's pretty cool god almighty he created you he birthed something in you you've given been given this temperament and when you understand who you are your giftings how you react to people it can help you be comfortable in your own skin it can help you kind of identify why you may react the way you do or uh, it kind of puts the pieces together, so to speak, of who we are and, you know, who God's created us to be. And so if you're curious to know more, all the, uh, all the links will be in the description. And thank you for listening. Blessings.